has everything. Bumping in, bang <laughs> And it hurts your heart when you thought that Louis G and Big Boy were going to actually do the Rush Hour yeah. television <laughs> that show. That would have been close, dope, man. Yeah, it was man. Close. We got Justin Hires. We got John <laughs> Fu up in here, man. First off, I got to say, welcome to the neighborhood, yes. fellas. Yeah. Hey, thanks Ple- for having us. Pleasure Justin to see you guys, man. Now, first off, you, you guys got to be Rush Hour fans. You know what I'm saying? Because b- before we see a television show, at some point, you had to watch the Rush Hour movie. Yeah, I always tell people Chris Tucker is literally one of the reasons why I got into comedy. Really? Um, when I saw him in the movie Friday and, and following his career, always been a fan of the Rush Hour franchise. Um, and so that's why it's a huge honor and a privilege to be able to step into that role of Detective yeah, Carter. Man. And uh, hopefully I'm doing it some justice. Hey, man, is it not always, you know, big shoes to fill, but do you feel, is there a pressure well, Justin, with, with knowing what that movie means to so many people? What, what, what everybody needs to understand is, I'm probably a bigger Chris Tucker <laughs> and Rush right. Hour fan than you, right. which helped me get the role. Um, and because and, I showed didn't get it. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they showed didn't call See, me. Season up. three, you yeah, can take yeah, over for yeah, me. Yeah, you yeah, uh, lied to me. But I always tell people, you know, I've been doing stand up comedy for almost nine years. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when you're doing stand up comedy for so long, you develop your own comedic voice, your own comedic time, your own comedic delivery. So when an opportunity comes like this, you feel prepared. So the pressure isn't really there because I know I put in the work right, all those right, right. years to prepare myself right, for a, yeah. a role of this magnitude. Mm-hmm. All you needed was an opportunity. Like, hey, you know there, what I'm saying? There is no luck. It's when preparation meets opportunity. There it is, man. Yeah. Now, now hey, John Fu, hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, John Fu, where is home plate for you, bro? Where were you, where were you born? Dude, I was born in London. Um... But I don't really have a home plate because okay. I've basically been traveling for like the past ten years, so I'm kind of very accustomed to being unaccustomed. Right, right, in, right, in right, right, right. So I kind of know a lot about uh, that type of character. Now, so so you guys are in L.A. now. Is that where you guys shoot the show at? We shoot all around Los Angeles. I think what's great Downtown, about the show, yeah, Santa Monica, Venice, yeah, uh, yeah. It's Disney almost like another character. Now, John, man. you doing your own stunts as well. Yeah, very much so. That's like one of the the main things I do in the show is a lot of action, a lot of fight scenes, a lot of like uh He's the real blowing deal. things up and kind of <laughs> causing a causing a mess. Now you of course wow. you you're trained in martial arts. What's what's your discipline? Right now it's Muay Thai. Oh but, Lord have mercy. Uh that's the most kind of spiritual, grounded, oh. real style of fighting there is. And then oh, before He's that it was Kung yeah. Fu, Wushu and Taekwondo and Oh, you definitely, if you walk in with a bodyguard, it's just for liability. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's much. definitely yeah. not because somebody's going to jump on to try to do anything to you. Yeah, I, I, I tell people, like, I'm a first-degree black belt, <laughs> Are right? Are you serious, Yeah, it's so, it's so random. Uh, but I'm a first-degree black belt, but what I learned from him, when I told him I was a first-degree black belt, he was like, oh, that's cute. I remember that when I was nine. Yeah, exactly. He was, like, he was like, I've been training for 20 years, so that's why I always tell people he is the real dude. He's been training for over 20 years, and he will kick your ass. Yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah. You see how respectful I'm being right now. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this, Mr. Fu. Um, when you first got oh, – now, now, how does one get this role? Do y'all know – do you know how they say, oh, I had to beat out this many people? Mm-hmm. Do y'all have an idea of who you guys, if there was, like, so many other people that, that was looking at, at this role? <laughs> oh, every, they auditioned every black person in Hollywood. Right. Except you. you yeah, yeah. Audition. You, but they knew already. They was like, why would we even bring them in? Yeah, I mean, for me, I know a lot of rappers were considered, Hilarious. a lot of actors, oh, um, yeah. a lot of singers. You know, a lot of people were, were was considered for the role. And, and you're a first degree black belt? Yeah, I bust that ass too. I heard yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. now, now, what about you, John, man? D- 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 it's got to be different belts and different from different disciplines, especially with, it, with Muay Thai, man. What does your shins look like, bro? Like... <laughs> Muay Thai is good for the shin. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. To be honest, but um, uh, yeah, no, I I used to do competitions, so I'd go to like events and try and win awards, um, and I'd win enough, and then afterwards use that to kind of get work in film. Were you mm-hmm. always acting though? Was was it martial arts first, then acting, or did was it acting and martial arts, or was it just kind of a combination? Acting is kind of like yeah, I've been doing that my entire life, and then martial arts is uh. uh uh, just a way to express. So that's like one of the uh, main, one of the first things I learned how to uh, really kind of be at my own tempo and express myself how I like to mm. was found in martial arts. And then acting becomes part of it. And then the whole thing just becomes life. Now, have you met Jackie Chan yet? Mm. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I was 19, I sent my video over to Hong Kong, and he saw my video, and he's like, oh, you have some good skills. Uh, so, I <laughs> <laughs> so then I ended up flying over to Hong Kong when I was about 20 and then working in Hong Kong in the uh, as a, a stunt guy and then working in Thailand. Hey, man, that's real work yeah. over yeah, there yeah. as far yeah, as like Hong yeah, Kong, yeah. Thailand. Like, it's, it, Were you doing martial arts like kind of work over there? I was doing mainly action movies. Right, yeah. Um, so so you get here. Is it kind of easier? You know what I'm saying? When you, when you get here, it's like... The safety level's a lot higher in, yeah. in Los Angeles. <laughs> in, in right. Jail, it's sort of right. like, you got to do this move, so who's doing it? And you just got to be like, I'll, I'll do it. What's going on? We're going to jump off the top of the balcony, and you got to just crash into the railing and then flip back off. You can you do know, that? You, I would go raw when I was like... When I was 19, 22... You was going uh, raw. Yeah, I yeah. was yeah. Going, talking about... Whoa, be no, careful, dude, bro. Was, <laughs> you don't mess around have all these money. <laughs> have you seen straight out of country? Yeah, you had know, <laughs> you know, these babies. <laughs> right. No, definitely. Um, but yeah, the safety level here is a little bit higher, which made it difficult to kind of capture as much stuff as we needed to, but I think we did at the end of the day. Has Jesus. anyone had any injuries yet? Uh, me. Oh. He yeah. did a backflip. <laughs> Of course, Justin had an injury. I had an injury. <laughs> Here, but Johnny see, is jumping off the well, top of this damn building. Exactly. I got an injury doing something. I wasn't even doing an actual stunt. We we shut down. Like craft like, services. Something like that. <laughs> you like getting the bagel like, ah, oh, shit. It's, <laughs> it's almost true, over. though. We, we, we shut down Long Beach Highway for an episode. Oh, that's which the day was, I was trying which to get was, to Long Beach. Yeah, and which was very disrespectful to the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> right. uh, but we shut down Long Beach Highway, and we was waiting to shoot a scene, and I was just eating snacks, right? And then I said... Let me see if I can still do a backflip. Oh no! So I'm on pay. We on pavement on the highway, and I was like, "Let me see if I can do a backflip." And I did the backflip, and I landed, but I landed incorrectly Ouch. and scraped my hand all up. Uh, and I was like, "Justin, that's why we hired Kevin Hart stunt double for you." Right here, yeah. <laughs> you know I do have Kevin Hart stunt double. But really I, he getting all the work. Dude. We both tiny. He getting all the work. Yeah, hell yeah. He getting all, he getting all, he getting all the little, uh, the little black dude work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tiny, tiny men. <laughs> yeah. I call us the three of Negroes. Well, hello. <laughs> Yeah. We already like 13 episodes in. No, I'm saying we like I'm in it, y'all. You know <laughs> win it, you win like, it. Like, like, but the, the 13 episodes, man, when you think about television, that could be grueling for you. And and every mm-hmm. every episode, it's got to be quality. You know what I'm saying? And it's got to be a lot. Like in, in a movie, you give us an hour and a half, two hours, there's hell of a stunts in it, especially when we watch a rush hour. But with this series, it's got to be continuous where you guys are doing over the top stunts, over the top fight scenes, and you know what I'm saying. So, what what do y'all? How do y'all prepare for that? I, you, you know can't. what, you can't. You just gotta, you just <laughs> they gotta, both were like, yeah, mm-hmm. you can't. Because what I always explain to uh, other young comedians and other actors coming up, I always tell them like the workload is something that I wasn't prepared for. Mm. We shot 13 to 15 hours. Every day, yeah, I probably wouldn't Monday do through that Friday, thing. no days off, and on the weekend, I was memorizing sixty pages of dialogue. So I literally had be careful no, what you ask for. Yeah, be careful. Huh? And I always had to remember this is what I prayed for. Mm-hmm. Right. I always had to tell myself anytime I felt like it was getting a little overwhelming, you know, I'd be like, "This is what I literally got down on and my knees." And then being the stars, it's not like you just walk in and you got a couple of lines. Mm-hmm. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like every day, it's like one <laughs> and two. One and two. Yeah. We, we're in almost every scene. We're there like five, six o'clock in the morning. And we don't go home till like 10 o'clock. John, at night. who makes the most mistakes if it comes to dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> like when you're like, man, I, I knew I was or I knew that Justin was going to flub this. Uh, well, you know what? I really don't have much to say in the show. I, like, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm kind see. of the action speak louder than words type of guy with the global view. And then we've got Justin, who's got like uh, shit. Yeah, a lot wait, of hell of yeah. 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 <laughs> So it, I I don't know how you memorized most of that, but yeah. I don't have no weekends. Right, right, right. Sixty, yeah. I'm memorizing sixty pages of dialogue on the weekend. That's that's why Damn. that's why John Eyes boss. look so good. Yeah, he's yeah, not, you know and I was looking sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm tearing the show. You yeah, know what I'm like things it, we gotta do. You know what? It, it's a it's a blessing. You know, to be a young African American. Um, and to be young minorities, period, on on a network like Chinese CBS, eyes. yeah, man, um, it's it's a it's something, especially not being a celebrity already, you know, and and so that's why I really try to tell anybody with any skepticism, I'm like you got to understand like the doors this is opening. You have to understand people like Taraji P Henson and Viola Davis and and Terrence Howard, they had to be movie stars right, before a network get... allowed them to lead a show, and to be a young African American and a young uh, Asian American, uh, uh, not Asian American, but uh, 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 Asian 
Chinese. It's, it's complicated. Yeah, he's complicated. <laughs> he, he, a lot, he a lot of stuff. But but to be he likes a, my social media page. Right, right, right. <laughs> but but to but to be able to 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 lead this show is opening doors. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really opening doors for young minorities to not be unknowns um, and to make these networks say, you know what, let's take a risk on this on these young mm-hmm. talent um, that that's minorities uh, coming up in in Hollywood. So I just want to uh, praise CBS for giving us that opportunity. Hey, let me ask you something, Justin. Were you, did you, what was your workout regimen like for real? Because I know you're a comedian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But were you really doing like a thousand crunches a day? I really was. Um, Yeah, to, to, because they told me you might have some shirtless scenes, so yeah, tighten man. up. Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> yes. and, and, you took that for and, real, And though. I saw a picture of him with his shirt off. I said, oh, oh, man. Like, uh, no. I was like, I got to tighten like, up. he ain't showing me up. Yeah, he ain't showing me up. <laughs> so I literally did, I was up to doing 700 push-ups and a thousand crunches a day. You know, I was on my Will Smith grind, mm. you know. Yeah, and I was trying to, yeah. and in the show, I'd be trying to run like Will Smith and Bad Boys. I'd be like, yeah, this, he, is, he, is, he, this is slow motion. Your hand in your, hand in your stride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John, do you work out every day, bro? No, I was I was knackered because we were doing three fight scenes um, each week. So we got a new director, and they'd write up these amazing stories where we'd, like go on to the uh, Disney concert hall, and then we'd have a fight scene with all of the kind of violas and violins and double bass, and we throwing them around the stage and smashing <laughs> everything up. And all that got to be kind of choreographed as exercise. well, too, though. And wait uh, a minute, let me tell you yeah, how great yeah. this dude is. Uh, he learns his fight. Both of us do. We learn our fight scenes right before we shoot it. So every fight scene it's that fast, you see, yeah. what? every fight scene you see on the show, we literally just learned it. 10, 15 minutes before they said action. John, you ever got hit do, doing, the, I'm pretty sure in your career, but just in the show with timing and stuff being choreographed? Um, I got my hand stuck in a shotgun. Um, <laughs> hey, man, he made it sound like that was <laughs> yeah, normal. Like, normal. normal. Okay, I, I got my hand stuck just, in a shotgun. How does <laughs> your hand get, like, you, you end up, it was a Don't, fight scene? Or? There's a fight scene with one of the characters, I can't remember what episode, it was all a kind of mix match to me at this point. Um, but, yeah, so the guy pulls a shotgun, so I have to grab the shotgun and try and stop him from shooting oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad story from the set go. Um, but then when you, you know, you kind of click the shotgun mm-hmm. and then it and it ratchets back, I caught my hand in that. Oh! Bit. That was the only, yeah. I didn't even know about stink. that. And do you do you finish that day or do you take a year off? <laughs> oh, 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 we I'm, finish that day because we oh, got okay. checks that need to get cleared. Right, yeah, 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 he gonna finish that I'm day. I'm like, man, I get hurt a little bit. I exaggerate my pain, Jack. I'm like, man, we got to shut down production today, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got to go home. My wife got to make me soup and everything. Well, you know what's so funny? I got sick once uh, on set and everybody was like, Justin, are you okay? Justin, are you okay? And I was like, God dang, why everybody so nervous? Right. But I realized if I didn't show up for work, they didn't work. Oh, yeah. Hell uh, and yeah. And so they was really concerned about their paycheck for right, that yeah. week. You don't work, they don't eat. Yeah. Right. So they, yeah. That's why they got assistance and everything. <laughs> right. You need it. And let me open that can for you. You're going to mess around uh, and yeah. you cut your hand open and get your hands stuck in a shotgun. <laughs> How many people got that same damn? <laughs> you know, there was nobody in this room that said me nah, too. Man. No. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna like, yeah, I got my fingers st- uh, stuck in a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> you know I know. It's <laughs> nobody so normal was like me too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, man, John, do girls love your accent? Because I don't know exactly where it really. Really come, it's like, a little hard to pinpoint. Yeah. yeah. Do girls love I, your accent? I've been traveling for a long time. I've been in so many different countries and my accents got diluted and changed into weirdness. But yes, um, that that's <laughs> one of yeah. He gets all the women. Such a great he gets yeah. all the women. He probably don't even talk like that. Nah, you know, know. He probably talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my name is John <laughs> Fu. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like like it's the intrigue. Like, oh girl, where are you from? Yeah, uh-huh. girls when they come on set, they're like, oh, what, what, what is he? Man. What is that? <laughs> Be- what because is when he speak, I'm hearing accents, and I'm like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. I, I, of course, I hear. Were you you were born in London? London, England, the planet, the universe. I heard, yeah. So it's like <laughs> where where he want to turn it on at. That's where he's from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He land. He like you know I'm from here, right? But he's <laughs> his background, his heritage is Chinese and Irish. That's really awesome. though, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He in Mexico. He like you know I'm Mexican, right? <laughs> oh, oh. Before I forget, I don't know if you know who Paige Kennedy is, but he's a co-star on the show. He yeah, plays my cousin Jerry. 
Uh, he does a lot of Vine and Facebook videos. And he's been on some other shows too. But he wanted to say, wanted me to Man, say what's up pages. to you. Is he a black belt too? Uh, he's a black Negro. Okay, uh, cool yeah. to the game. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I want to fight somebody on the set, but I just don't want to fight nobody yeah. that's really trained. Mm-hmm. You can fight Paige. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay well, yeah. I, I, I'll get that Paige then. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Ben, he's, that you guys and he said you his, you're his favorite uh, on air personality. Man, Aww. tell yeah. Paige I said thank you, brother. Yeah, we'll You know do. what I'm saying? I'm just trying to work hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day I'll get my finger caught in the shotgun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe one day I'll arrive. Yeah, man. Big Boy's Neighborhood every Thursday night, Rush Hour, the TV series, man. CBS, make sure you guys check it out, man. 10, 9 Central. Mm. Some people, I mean, fans of Rush Hour, are they going to get any kind of Easter eggs, at least maybe in the pilot of a throwback to the film, whether it's maybe a small quote or just like a certain action scene? Absolutely. Uh, the first episode is basically a reboot of uh, the original first uh, Rush Hour film. Um, he do a pool hall scene. Uh, which was in the original yeah. Rush Hour, so that's kind of like our little homage to the to the first Rush Hour film. Um, and then do y'all purposely kind of stay away? Absolutely. Right. I, I, like I tell people, I'm not doing a Chris Tucker impersonation on the show. He's not doing a Jackie Chan impersonation. Mm-hmm. I think the the success of this show lied in us being ourselves. Right. You know, Justin Hires bringing himself to Detective Carter and John Food doing what he does mm-hmm. uh, for his role. Um, uh, however, within doing that, um, the I do. Do one homage to Chris Tucker. Is um, that the words? I think it's epi- no, it's not that. Okay. No, no. I purposely, if you if you even see that clip, um, I purposely play it down. I don't. Right, I don't right, even right, go. Right. I don't go for the joke. So anybody that's yeah. like that ain't funny. I didn't want it to be funny. Like I was. I wasn't trying for it to be funny. Right. Um, because I didn't. I knew people was gonna automatically compare me to Chris Tucker off of that particular line. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think episode four. I do a, my my only homage really that's for Chris Tucker. Um, because like I said. He is literally one of the reasons why I got into this game of comedy. Um, so nothing but respect and love to that dude. Do you um, do, now? Do you stay on that stage too now? Oh, do you stand have up! Time? Oh, absolutely. Matter of fact, I'm performing at Flappers. Flappers at, hello. Bur- at Burbank, Burbank. At Burbank hello. this Sunday, uh, doing my rush hour uh, celebration comedy show. Nice. Um, so if y'all in LA, come out. But yeah, I'm going on tour. Uh, for the first time, headline. I used to tour with Atheon Crockett. That's my guy. Yeah. Atheon was just here last yeah, week. I, I watched the interview. That's great interview. That's my guy, man. Yeah, so I was his feature for two years. Um, and now it's great that I'm starting to tour, uh, headline my own tour. So That's I'll be dope. going to Baltimore. Do you tell Denver. Atheon that now? Like, what yeah, you? I got my own tour. Uh, no. <laughs> make sure <you> watch, <laughs> Atheon, make sure you watch me every Thursday night on CBS. No, on no, Rush no, Hour, no. My no. television you show. You know what? I, I always praise Atheon because when, he's, a good dude, when he decided he was going to go back into comedy, he saw me perform at uh, Ha Ha Comedy Club. He said, man, you're funny. Whenever I go on the road, I'm going to take you with me. And I was like, hi, 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 dude. Right, right, Because, yeah. you, you know, it's Hollywood. That. You hear that all the time. But as soon as he decided to go on the road, I was the first call he made. Um, and he took me for two years. And that was a man. That was a dude that's a man of his word. And that's rare to come by, especially hey, out man, here in Hollywood. Character is Damn. what's being spoke about you when you're not in the room. Absolutely. And he's nowhere in here right now. And you just spoke extremely well about Atheon. Yeah, I appreciate him. I beg to differ because I you know, <laughs> But if you feel that that's the way he is. Then, that's you know, the homie, man. Shout yeah. out to Ath. What can I do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I can't change your mind. <laughs> Gentlemen, I thank you for coming in here, man. Thank you for having Justin, us. Justin, please, next time you come in and we do an interview with you and John, please, sh- man, say something. Say something. Say- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speak. I should like, talk a little more. Yeah, talk a little more. <laughs> and John, yeah. just let him have a word in. I knew you were going to You know what I'm saying? On his- <laughs> yeah, let, him, let the guy say something. Uh, you we're, know, we're I characters. go to John. I'm like, John, how was it working on the show? Just like, man, it was great. <laughs> They're fabulous, man. Not speaking for him, but Chinese, American, Ethiopian, African from England, uh, London. You know, from London. You know what I'm saying? By way of uh, Cambodia through Detroit, Michigan. I'm used to talking. Yeah, he didn't Who know what he didn't know what to call John at one point. He's like, man, being an African American, and I think he's a human being. And he's a Chinese American. Oh he ain't a American. You know, he, he, you he know definitely checks off other. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. But bro. I love how how Justin was trying to give him something like, man, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I'm like, man, I guess on the next interview, I don't got to know. One whole exactly season, I still don't know who you are. Yeah, like. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, but I thank y'all for coming in, man. And I appreciate you guys, man. And don't forget, every yeah, Thursday man. night, CBS, it is going down. Rush Hour, the TV series. John Fu, thank you for coming in, my brother. Yes, Justin, I appreciate you, my brother. It is Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy.